This is the most snow I've seen all year, and it's the day that we go winter camping. That was the most extreme challenging camp I've ever done. I can now say that I've camped in minus 20 degree weather. Look at today's driving conditions. Full blown winter storm out here and I'm, I'm driving in this. I've seen five cars ditched so far. Hopefully we make it. This is pretty extreme driving. Can't believe it, we finally, finally made it. Here we are at the campsite, let's get set up now. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. So before we put up the hot tent, which is what I'm about to be doing, right here I got this mat, and uh, we're gonna be putting this mat down before we put the tent up because we found in the past, it gets really muddy in that tent super fast, and tarps just aren't enough. So we're gonna install this mat in, and we're gonna use this kind of as a carpet in the, in the uh, tent to try and be a little less messy and less, less uh, cluttering. So let's throw this mat down first into our dirt patch and we'll go from there. Let's get that hot tent. This just freaking happened. Jesus. And I'm on my own for this. Let's put that baby up now. After a grueling hour long, probably over that, finally got this thing up. The reason I wasn't filming was because the wind was so insane. Like, I, I think it's actually the windiest I've ever seen before. That this tent just wouldn't sit there. I probably ran and chased this tent three times. Finally got all the pegs in. Every single one is in. I've just put everything in the tent, set up the hot stove, set up the sleep system, and uh, it's starting to get dark now. So my dad will be coming soon. I've been soloing this for the last two hours, but my dad will be joining me once all the hard work is done. And, uh, let's get settled into this tent now. I'm tired. Finally, we're able to set this man up, our hot stove. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take this stuff off. Uh, we're gonna unveil the poles which are currently inside here. Okay. So, we're gonna start it off with the smaller one. So, then we're gonna grab this one. And there we just stack up until we get through this hole. This is the most extreme thing I've ever done. Finally, got that chimney going through. Everything's guy lined up. And wow, this has been tough. So I'm cold. So let's finally get this hot stove running so we can warm up. Oh, it's a bit of a mess in here. I gotta clean up. Let's get this baby started. So I got a fire starter right here and I got some matches. So first things we're gonna do, we're just gonna throw in some kindling before we throw in real logs. And then we're gonna 
put a fire starter right there just to get it going. So I'm gonna grab my matches right here. Open her up. Okay, here we go. for that to start up now. Gonna take a few minutes, but uh, things are looking good in here. Hopefully this shot works. Pitch black and I forgot to cut wood, so we're cutting wood in the dark. Pretty intense out here. It's hard to see out here, so I'm not as accurate. Should be good enough for now. Oh, here, man. Oh, last small piece here. Should be enough for tonight, hopefully. I really don't feel like coming out here and doing this one. We can cut this one down a little bit more. Let's load this back in. Got some lights in the far distance. No one's camping here, just me. Oh, that's extreme. I'm tired. We're gonna be going to bed super early tonight. It's almost time to settle down. So now I'm just gonna set up my little sleep system. I'm getting tired. This, uh, I'm on my own for this. My dad is coming, but he's still not gonna be here for a while. So usually he does some things and I do other things. So. To have to do everything does make it a bit harder. So uh, let's get out my pillows and sleeping bag and the pad now. Uh, here's my camp pillow. Pretty simple setup with this thing. All you gotta do is get out of the bag and it's ready to go. So I have a I have a blow up pillow, but that is for more backcountry stuff where I can't just carry everything I want to in the truck. So super comfortable i actually really like this pillow so uh good pillow next up there it is got my pad once again simple setup all you gotta do is blow it up a couple times and it's ready to go all you do here blow it up it takes me about seven or eight puffs to get this thing full so uh, let's get that done let's get that going now it's been quite a journey today from now until when I left. As I, as I showed you, the driving conditions today are the worst they've been in years. So that was really good to drive through. Um, highway speeds are about 100, 110, or between 65 and 75. That's, that's uh, kilometers to miles per hour. So I was going about 80, a lot slower, which is about 45, 50, I think, miles. I've uh, learned the conversions a bit better since I've driven in the US now and actually, you know, you drive in miles, not kilometers. About two and a half hours it took to, to get here with the stop and the insane wind it took me forever to get the tent up because of the wind and one man job getting a tent up in extreme wind. You can bet I chased the tent a couple times. I hope you're kind of enjoying the, uh, you know, a lot of work I'm putting into this. So let's, let's get this pad down now and I'm going to get up my sleeping bag and that's it for the sleep system. Oh, man. Okay, there you go. So uh, normally I put the pad in the sleeping bag. I'm not gonna do that yet because I do have to get on this fire and I think it is going out right now. 
I haven't quite it, I haven't got it quite caught yet. So I'm still working on that. But there we go. Sleeping, sleeping bag, pad, under pad, caught. Everything's good to go. So my dad will be here soon. He's cooking up the meal tonight. But to tie me over till then, I got a dehydrated meal here. I'm gonna cook up. I'm getting hungry. And uh, it's been a lot of work out here. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Cooking this up. So we got the creamy pasta and chicken. Had this one before, it's really good. Once the water is boiling, we throw it into the bag. Then we wait about 15 minutes and it should be ready to go. Water's boiling now. Let's get this opened up. Always make sure you take out these little bags that they leave in there. Okay, so as you can see, I just gotta get my spoon, stir that up. Should be ready, should be ready in about 15 minutes. You've gotta be kidding me. It's been hailing outside. I was wondering what was, I was wondering what was, you know, hitting the tent. It was hail. So, uh, I just had to really quickly eat that meal. My dad is lost and I have to go and find him. He's within the park. He doesn't know where he is. And I'm gonna go meet him at a spot and lead him to our proper campsite so that he's not scared. I just wanna take a second to acknowledge how beautiful it is outside. Clouds are now covering, but five minutes ago, clouds were open. I've never seen so many stars in the sky before. It was open in a small patch of the very cloudy sky. I saw about 200 in a small area. So that just goes to show what you can see with no light pollution. So for now, settled into the tent. We're gonna be going to bed soon. Oh, we ate, we're settled in. My dad's here now, so some of the workload is off of me now, which is nice. Oh, it's not so bad in here. It's actually really warm. It's about 17 degrees inside the tent and about minus 13 outside. And it's going down to minus 19 tonight, which is ridiculously cold. But we're gonna get nice and cozy in here tonight. Before I go to bed, I'm gonna do what I always do and read a little bit before I close my eyes. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we got hammered. <laughs> this is the most snow I've seen all year. And it's the day that we go winter camping. Look at all the snow on the bench. Look at how much snow that is there. It's, it's strange out here. It's beautiful, but... It's also crazy to think that I've just been camping in this. I set up the tent, set up the stove, and uh, just stayed nice and warm in there. All right, unfortunately, this thing has gone by so freaking fast. We're packing up already. I gotta put my stuff away. We gotta pack down this tent in a foot of snow. This is gonna be a real challenge. Currently it's about minus, oh my god, it's probably minus 18 out here, it's so cold. So I think I'm going to sit in the truck for a few minutes to warm up my hands and then we'll resume this project. This is the most difficult camping you can do. Storm and it's freezing. So I'm going to pull a bit of an amateur move and just quickly warm up my hands. So one thing I started doing today that I've never done before was we have like a hammock blanket here and uh, I decided to throw that over my pad un in under in my sleeping bag and I found that actually helped keep me a bit warmer and for the first time ever winter camping I was not at all cold like one bit never did I wake up in the middle of the night freezing so obviously I did something right this time even though it is minus 20 outside 
and this is the coldest camping that we've ever done. I still really did enjoy it out here, so even though we are leaving to a much warmer place, I am sad to be leaving the cold, the snow, and the campsite behind. But we're not quite done yet. After we're done packing up, we are going to explore Lake Huron because we're right nearby. Lake Huron is one of the nicest of the Great Lakes, in my opinion, so can never complain about seeing it down there. I wonder what it's going to look like in the winter, though, because I've only ever been to Lake Huron in the summer. So we'll have to see what's different about it. That's pretty much it for in here. All that's left is I just have to remove my backpack. And then we pack up this tent and uh, it's gonna be hard. Snow to foot, we gotta find all the pegs. We gotta tear this tent down in the snow, in the cold. This is winter camp and this is what it looks like. that out. It's like we were never here. Just to show how much you melt when you run a stove. We got everything under the carpet melted and a little bit over there as well. Just from the stove alone. It's crazy how much of the snow melts. All right. Hope you enjoyed that winter camp. All packed up. Before we end things off, we're just going to run over to Lake Huron and check out the beach real quick before we head on out of here. It was a pretty enjoyable camp. Definitely, that was the most extreme, challenging camp I've ever done. I can now say that I've camped in minus 20 degree weather. My lips are frozen right now. I'm talking kind of weird, but we're loving it out here. So uh, I'm just gonna close this door up and we're gonna hop in the truck. Oh my God, the waves are massive. It's insanely windy, but here you go. Here's Lake Huron. I'll come back to this park in the future in the summer when it's not freezing but beautiful here and I've never seen a sand and snow mixture before that's pretty interesting that's it for this let's get back to the truck and get out of here for anybody wondering here's what frozen hands look like oh my god I feel like they're gonna fall off I can't feel my hands oh man all right here we go winter camping that was the most extreme thing I think I've ever done in my life Minus 20 camping down by the lake. It had to have been minus 35. It was so unbearably cold, but it was also beautiful at the same time. There's a beauty in winter camping. There's a secludedness, the beautiful snow. There's the fire that we enjoy from the stove. Even though winter camping's really hard, the good still outweighs the bad. And um, then we got to end it off on beautiful Lake Huron. I love coming down to that lake. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe because it greatly helps me and this channel, which I really want this channel to succeed. Don't forget to stay in the great outdoors. And uh, of course, I'll see you all later. Say goodbye, Dad. Bye-bye, see ya. <laughs>